the tensions between the United States and Iran escalated after the U.S.'s withdrawal from the JCPOA, and the imposition of financial sanctions, which have been branded as economic terrorism by Iranian officials. These tensions have risen following the sanctions, which aim to bring Iranian oil exports close to zero. After imposing these sanctions suspicious attacks by unidentified agents targeted oil tankers in the Persian Gulf and Sea of Oman. The United States, Israel and some countries in the region blamed Iran for these attacks without any official proof. The downing of a U.S. drone by IRGC forces, according to the president, led him to decide to attack Iran, a decision he cancelled ten minutes later, as he said. This program is going to examine different aspects of this event with three analysts. Dr. Scott Bennett, formerly of the U.S. Army 11th Psychological Operations Battalion, attempted to blow the whistle by contacting the commercially controlled media and writing to U.S. politicians after being sacked from his job as terrorist finance investigator after he proved too zealous at the job. He has developed and managed psychological warfare theories, products, and operations for U.S. Special Operations Command, U.S. Central Command the State Department Coordinator for Counterterrorism, and other government agencies. He was a research fellow at the Heritage Foundation. Pepe Escobar is the roving correspondent for Asia Times, Hong Kong, an analyst for RT and Tom Dispatch, and a frequent contributor to websites and radio shows ranging from the US to East Asia. Born in Brazil, he's been a foreign correspondent since 1985, and has lived in London, Paris, Milan, Los Angeles Washington, Bangkok, and Hong Kong. Michael Malouf, a former senior security policy analyst in the office of the Secretary of Defense, has almost 30 years of federal service in the U.S. Defense Department and as a specialized trainer for border guards and special forces in select countries of the Caucasus and Central Asia. While with the Department of Defense, Malouf was Director of Technology Security Operations as head of a 10-person team involved in halting the diversion of militarily critical technologies to countries of national security and proliferation concern and those involved in sponsoring terrorism. <laughs>